I would like you to look at the picture behind me and think about all the things you can learn about me just by staring at this picture in 3, 2, 1, pause the video. If you guessed that I worked at Home Depot, you would be correct. You're probably wondering though what me working at Home Depot has to do with family history. Well, let me tell you. Have you ever looked at a record, like a census or maybe a draft registration card, and it listed a uh, occupation for an ancestor, maybe it was a city directory or some other type of record that had to list what he did as an occupation. Well, there are two reasons why occupations are very important. I'm going to let you know in this week's genealogy tip of the week. So why are our ancestors occupations so important? Well, I'm going to give you three reasons and those three reasons are one, it can help give us insights to maybe their social life their economic status, maybe what their daily life was like. Two, it can maybe tell us what other records we can find information in. For example, certain uh, occupations um, had additional records associated with it that might lead us to other records. And third, if you have an ancestor that has a really, really, really common name, it can help you distinguish between two John Doe's in the 1910 census. So where can we find these records? Well, obituaries talk about them. So do death and probate. Military, especially World War I and World War II, they had to put their job on the draft registration and maybe you might even find them in a, the job in a military pension. Um, city directories, um, censuses, they might be on a population census schedule for like if they're a farmer or some other occupation. Um, maybe they're on a passenger list because he was a sailor or maybe they had to list what their occupation was back in the old country and if you have a European ancestor some registries civil registries later on actually list what their occupation is so lastly let's talk about where you might be able to find these records familychurch.org find my past my heritage ancestry and maybe there's some websites in the town of where your ancestor was that might house those records like if a county courthouse has a website where you can go look and search for those records maybe you're in a foreign country and they have a specific website just for occupations um, maybe fold three especially if you're looking for an occupation that might be stated on a military record there are lots of ways to go find this information and it's very helpful and I highly encourage you to use an, the occupation of your ancestors when finding records